catch on the menu. I know. Oh man, look how beautiful lampneck I got from the sale. It's local and it's organic. This is gonna be great. There's bone in there, lots of fat. It's gonna be tender and tasty. So pressure cooker will get the best result. Here are our spices. So we're gonna just mix everything together. We're going to have tomato sauce with intense flavors and pulled lamb in it. So it's gonna be delicious. And now we have some onion and garlic. So let's saute those first and then saute the spices and add a little bit ginger in there also, like so. Give it a good stir and glaze it nicely. Then put the tomato sauce. You can stir it a little and then you can turn the pressure cooker off. And now for the best part, searing the meat. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful sound. So I use carbon steel skillet. It has really good uh, heat conductive properties. So I recommend that, that or cast iron skillet. But if you don't have either one of those, you can of course use the pressure cookers saute mode. I have tried the saute mode for a few times on the meat, but usually you end up boiling the meat, so don't do it. Remember to dry the surface of the meat before putting it on the pan, so you can get the best Maillard reaction on. So this uh, frying gives so much flavor, flavor for the meat and for the sauce. So this is actually quite important part. Uh, sear it from the all sides and now I think it's good to go. It's a bit sped up. So lift all the meat pieces into the pot and put some water on the pan and scrub all that good tasty flavor out of it and of course put that back in the pot. Oh yeah! Now it's good to keep be pressurized so high pressure for 50 minutes and after that natural pressure release like 30 minutes or so and there it is delicious 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 now i put the saute mode on to reduce the amount of liquid and then we can shred the meat and as you can see it's really tender oh yeah yeah and also hot and you can just shred it into nice pieces and then cut it and put it back in the pot and now in the pot we put also this cooking yogurt and now it's time to taste it. Hmm. I think mine needed a little bit lime juice and a sugar. So now when the lid is open remember to taste it as much as possible and make adjustments. So now with some jasmine rice we can offer our dish. And we put some fresh coriander on top of it. And I can guarantee that this is full of flavor. It's a really blast. And once again, if you liked my video, please like it and subscribe. Thank you very much and have a nice day.